Welcome to Actually Controller, the podcast that is actually a controller, and we are actually in control of everything you are hearing right now. I'm so very sorry. Hi, everyone. Hello. Hello. Welcome back Hi. to Actually Controller. You got sorry, Steve. Sorry, sorry. Here's Chad. Uh, Chris. Rob. <laughs> I'm Jeffrey. <laughs> <laughs> Here, retake, uh, Jeffrey. I'm not wearing my ears, so this is we different for me. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> you're usually the I one that naked. Yeah, you're usually the one with the ears, so yeah. you're hearing everybody. So it's like, yeah. Plus, I have some major tinnitus right now. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? What was know. that? So uh, we have finished up the tour at this point. That's uh, I guess that's what we're supposed to be talking about. I was sick. completely wrapped the tour. I was wondering why you were I think so my quiet. My mic was off. Yeah, it was. I was. I'm wrong. Dang, Hi, it's it Bob. Out. There you go. Hey. <laughs> so, uh, how am I the singer? How long is the battery going to last? Oh, the battery was fine. He just muted it. <laughs> I mean, I could turn it off. <laughs> so, yeah, the tour officially is now done with our latest show from Harpo's. Echoes of Tomorrow. Yes, the Echoes of Tomorrow Tour 2023 is officially done. Um, and joining us tonight. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> As you saw, this past episode was uh, kind of the uh, some of the antics that happened while we were on the tour. Um, the video comprised of kind of the halfway point for Virginia Beach, and then directly after unloading the trailer yeah. and sitting on the back patio, and yeah. me and Chad and Chris all kind of discussing death <laughs> <laughs> and the feeling how, of just bleh. How, how great it was to be home yeah you know, let's do it again i gotta Yay. say Actually, I, totally, I totally would be down to go run again i i gotta say i'm really proud of us for hitting all of the bucket list things that we said we were gonna do i i will say that we ran non-stop as if we were like 20 years younger yeah the entire that was, time that was, yeah that was something yeah. that got brought up the, the entire time there was like very little downtime even in our down yeah her downtime yeah, was our down days downtime were not was like chris are you dying <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> we're gonna take a break today yeah, like 13 <laughs> hours of let chris sleep because we can't kill him are we gonna play this show he and, said and yes I think okay that, like we had talked i think that's because we were just go 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 yeah. go yeah and it was finally like, like exhaustion was like I okay mean, i need the I'm evening that we walked through the the mall um, in DC, it was like 101 Good degrees. Good lord, I'm still not convinced that it was only that. I'm still thinking with the way that your stomach was that you may have had a little bit of food poisoning going I mean, on on top that's, of that. That's possible with, yeah. with the way that it, your body food temperature. Poisoning. The, the 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 chocolate. The yeah, the exhaustion. exhaustion. The 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 strain. The the. Just everything exhaustion, yeah. and I, like I said, I couldn't regulate my temperature. That was the biggest thing. I woke up and I'm like, I am just you super were super fucking hot. Yeah, <laughs> super uh. after the uck. So, but Chad and I were discussing this. That's not a ailment. That's a symptom of an ailment. So we were trying to figure uh, out. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's true. Well, I mean, no, I, I actually do have. Like, I'm I'm one that I can't go from hot cold hot cold. It, it gives me migraines. Yeah, like, and I can get nauseous. And then on top of that, we're we're being cooked on stages. We're ripping our our gear down, repacking, and jumping in a freezing car to drive to the next spot. So I the will. Sweat is just like glued to. Yeah. 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 So I will say, as far as all the stages, though, I think the one that for me personally was the most ovened, yeah. like the cooker yeah. of all of them, was Harpo's. Yeah. Oh, oh my Harpo's dude! Was it was all the old school cans yeah, I, with the I gels saw, on it. I was sweating and, within a minute. Yeah, we were in setup, and I'm already like, uh, <laughs> uh, uh. I lo- I love the history of the place, but when you're on stage, you can smell the, the history, history of the place. <laughs> when you're backstage, you can smell. Yeah, at least two. I two or three of you guys even mentioned it. It's the and curtains, the man. Those like, curtains you could just, just smell. like retain that moldiness of age. I didn't notice any of that, only because I have a fan. And it right. was something I invested in years ago because of that reason. Well, the other thing uh, I didn't realize until we were walking out, there wasn't one, but there's two different green rooms actually back there. Yep. There was a lower level one, and then there was a second green room that was actually upstairs. I didn't oh, know there was a green crap. room at all. What? Yeah, there's two oh, green yeah, rooms. There was a green room. I put a, I put a sticker in the green room. Yep. That's pretty awesome. That's and we got a sticker the, in the, 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 da- in the onstage bathroom, too. Let's talk too. about that stage, though. Six and a half foot off the oh, ground. Oh, my God. <laughs> Six, seven and foot. It's, it, 
It was tall. It was <laughs> Jeff and I almost both took a dip. He did it during <laughs> Show Me the Way, and then I happened to put my foot on the monitor and it for rolled. a second. It rolled. I'm like, Ugh. so you know how they say this is not a step. There's for multiple that, reasons. <laughs> That's one yeah. reason. So there's a picture of me by that sign mm-hmm. that says no stage diving. Yeah, and that sign it. is. And I was trying to show where the sign was and where the top of the stage was yeah. all the way around. Yeah, so. yeah. That and there happened to be one on cool. both sides of the stage. I know was we it? were thinking that there was only the one, but it was on Who, the same. Side. I don't. I'm just trying to imagine that pit being full and, some, <laughs> and somebody going, "This would be a good idea, dude." I mean, if you look back at the old Slipknot concert, yep. Sid used to climb the scaffolding, yeah. like. 25, 30 feet up. Just and crush, just that would crush somebody. Nope. No, I'm like, I'm thinking about my body mass going like... Here's the thing. I would hate... <laughs> imagine being in the crowd and pushed Jesus all the way up to the wall of the stage. Yeah, there's nothing you can see at all. I can't there's see. There's a Patreon right there. Up. Yep. <laughs> there's, we, nice. we got the thumbnail for the Patreon. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get a nice zoomed in picture of that one. Yep. Yeah. Um, nice. But to... Uh, Chad and Chris and I kind of already got an opportunity to kind of relive some of the moments from the tour, and uh, but Bob and Jeff didn't, so we were going to kind of go over that, and possibly with uh, them bringing up some of this stuff they remember, it might end up triggering some more things oh, yeah, that we'll the three of us forgot about completely. Sheets. It, well, no, we oh, did no, not we forget about, about sheets. sheets. Means, no. oh, this is, I guess, more on us. Yeah. Are, are we kind of just going to start from the beginning? I mean, you put it up, yeah. I, 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 I can just mouth That's it. why you wear ears, so you know where you're at. Yeah, so I know where I'm at. Shut up. <laughs> Say um, that again. So I, so I know where I'm at. Shut up. Uh, no, no. Oh. Not that again. <laughs> Say what you were saying again because I should, lost you. Should we start from the beginning? What you like, were saying again. the tour? Okay, so when yeah. I was a child. <laughs> <laughs> he said tour. Oh, yeah. tour. So when I was a child. <laughs> <laughs> no, go ahead. Yeah, you go ahead. I start was, it. I completely lost it. He does this to all of us, doesn't he? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so it's not just me. Fair. Run on. That's fair. Yeah, we did um, We did do chronological. We tried yeah, to. Yeah, just, just to keep it easy it on like, us. All right, we, almost, so, we almost forgot. Yeah, we forgot about Bucky. For, for <laughs> day one at Stan's room, oh my gosh, Fort Wayne, thank you. Yeah, that was a great turnout. You it's, guys, you um, guys turned out. Yeah, with no disrespect meant meant to the rest of the of the tour, uh, that was by far our best turnout. Home, hometown love was it, definitely appreciated. Um, so. And so then it was I, all down yeah, well, No, I wasn't <laughs> about that. I'm um, talking about the, the, our performances. We all were like, oh, oh. Well. well, I mean, that's different because we were going nonstop, right? Yeah, and that's um, fair. Oh, I will say, I will say, I will say that I am happy that all the voices we didn't end up like with mid laryngitis by the end of it. it no, no, all, all everybody was all was the vocals, run, all the backup vocals. Yep. Nobody, nobody was cracked or hoarse. Yeah, yeah. It was it the same quality at the beginning of the tour at the end? Eh, no, no. Yeah. But I mean, but we did not lose. I disagree. I, you can I disagree. Pretty, I can, well, I mean, there was a level. Of, everybody's there, entitled to their wrong opinion. There was a level. So, of you're right. You are. <laughs> and this is why we fight. <laughs> and my dad asked why we write such angry music, and I'm yeah. like, "Well, have you ever hung out with us, Dad?" <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean, it's fair. All right. So, uh, Stan's room. So it stands for well, Fort Wayne. And then we... Probably uh, the absolute pinnacle of the tour. And then, of mm. course, you know, Steve's heart attack in the morning about getting stuff. Uh, Man, it started that night. Uh, I don't know yeah, what you're talking about. It wasn't yeah. just the morning. Okay. But it, but it was completely understandable. Yeah. Completely. It started like the day oh, yeah. before because you're right. like, dude, the absolute worst thing is going to happen. We're not going to... Yep. Yeah, and he like wished it into existence, but we it still worked it, he, out. He, I mean, willed it, it into existence. Yes. <laughs> yeah. He uh, will, will give me my CDs. <laughs> that part, yes. The T-shirts were a complete just. Yeah, his his <gasps> overbearing willingness for the CDs. The shirt showed up. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they're like we're not. Fine, going we'll get there too. I'm, like, I'm not messing like with you. <laughs> he's already mad at the CDs. He wouldn't want him mad at us too. Yep. Um, but no, then we then the drive down to Kentucky yep, and the flex um, and go down to Kentucky. Yep. Flex and, and go. Then, uh, cool thing is, is, while it wasn't the greatest turnout, um, my dad did, did yeah, come for that show. He was there from start to finish. AJ's he even had dinner was a with us. Wonderful um, setup too. I mean, yeah. honestly, as far as the stage setup, that was probably my favorite because we didn't have to roll our box onto anything. And we we talked about that too. How I didn't mind actually AJ's. I know it wasn't the largest stage, but yeah. my God, the, the access sound. for the case to just. Well, well, it was. That's and a the good sound, point. The yeah. Sound yeah, the access really for the case was fantastic because yeah. it's just a roll in on the floor. Yep. 
and the bar to set the merch up on. We utilized the stage layout pretty well. I mean, at first glance, you're like, five piece drum set, keyboard, what? (laughs) <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. I think it, we, it did work out perfectly that I yeah. didn't have to be restricted to the stage. I didn't have to worry about any feedback. Yeah. It was actually even with it being a smaller stage, I was pretty like ease of access to everything. Now, unfortunately, when we did play AGs, and they even the people that were working there went searching to see what was happening in town. That yeah. Night. Apparently, one of the employees drove the entire main stretch. Of downtown that so night while we, we were there, we pretty yeah. much played to the house at AJ's. So but I really appreciate. We did find out why. Yes. Yeah. yeah. The th- the go the reservoir the reservoir yeah. yeah got drained the next day. I mean, if it's your last for the season, on the lake. I mean, yep. you, I yeah. really can't be mad at it. Yeah. yeah. Especially if you own a boat and that's the only place it's you just get one to of use things, it. Like you don't know the area, you book a show and it's like, oh, it's the biggest festival in town, and then you're like, yeah. okay, well, we're not competing with that. So. Right. It's like our local if if like Grable Days running and um. And then or there, uh, no 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 Three Rivers Festival yeah you, you ain't you ain't getting nobody out yeah, yeah them going there, out to but, eat yeah. with your dad that day was think, really was good cool. like, my, my dad's yeah. a character the so, um, well yeah we brought up the how the uh, the meals only progressively got more tour band like <laughs> yeah, yeah where we yeah. started so, out way high with a hibachi, was hibachi. <laughs> yeah, was, we went to a hibachi that evening or day two so, yeah. yeah so we were we were kind of bougie and it was nice I don't know I don't know because like. Virginia Beach dinner. Oh man, that kind of brought bougie. things back. Yeah, up. yeah. That's so, like, I mean, all of Virginia Beach was bougie. That's only because as we progressed through the tour, we got closer and closer to the ocean. Sheets. Oh well, yeah. I mean, that's true. So it's like, yeah, we were yeah, surrounded by sheets. sheets the further we went. Oh, so. on, talking about Virginia Beach, we're getting ahead of our. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, got yeah, yeah, Raleigh, yeah. Sorry, because Raleigh, uh, Raleigh was a good that show. Was, that was just a reference to the food, though. Oh, so yeah, yeah uh, something that we brought up though that night, and I don't know how much Jeff was, and I know you were passed out. Uh-huh. Almost the whole time, oh, I know. but we were discussing the pain of the three-hour push post show I was to glad Knoxville. I'm I'm glad glad I was only because it was a lot of countryside driving. Yeah. Like, yeah. I've done that, and I've and it was country, countryside through the mountains with like, the fog uh, because yeah. I tried to sleep and I couldn't. Your anxiety, and I'm I'm like watching the fog. Well, I also knew I had an early morning to meet up with my friend right. and yeah. for yeah. breakfast. Because right. it was the only chance I was going to be able to see him through our routing. So we left. We left Glasgow. We ended up at Knoxville. Yeah, Knoxville. we were pretty just much outside, in Knoxville. Just outside right. Knoxville. And, and breakfast then, at that yeah. hotel was really nice. And, and there was actually some really cool people that yeah. uh, Jeff and I ended up talking to. I they were all shocked. They're like, "You guys are in a band? What are you guys doing in Knoxville? Yeah, and like, we were what's like going on, like, traveling well, and all this. You and know? like ninety like percent of them worked at like what was it? The power plant? That yeah, was the, there? the the uh, nuclear power plant. Yeah. And they <laughs> were like, taking like a staycation. I was, so I was kind of I, I was unintentionally Into the mic, and kind of switched my seats. Nuclear power plant. Yeah, we were barely hearing you. Nuclear power plant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 what? So um, so um, there was that, and then we went to the Raleigh show, which uh, in Raleigh itself, that same day, uh, what was the band that was playing? So you had five seconds to summer. Five seconds to summer. Mm-hmm. and like Just a few blocks away, and then the NAACP fundraiser. And, yeah. <laughs> the other direction, a and, few and blocks. And oddly enough, there was like a fair amount of people in the place oh, where we were yeah. going. Yeah, it was a good was, turnout. Crowd. Crowd. I, I so, will say, uh, while I appreciate appreciate the venue um the bathroom shocked me a little bit hey, it's fine um chris had a topic of that yeah, yeah the the bathroom shocked me you know uh it i don't know if it is or was formerly a uh gay club which it's is still it is uh, yeah. so it's I, a, i'm not sure um don't is. care not there my are. business but it, it, it is a gay club fair yeah, yeah. I, I, I was, I was honored to be there regardless but when you're trying to take a leak and you have yourself in your hand and there's and you're not of that persuasion and there's a picture of a, a I mean on one fit way to, gentleman bent right over in front of you it well, kind of throws you off one way to look at it it's what it wasn't a real fit gentleman it was just a photo of a fit uh, gentleman I, well yeah. it, he was, he <laughs> was trying to be ample <laughs> I mean legitimately I mean you're not so you're, you're, you're in there to second. do business you're not in there to play so, yeah. so I mean unless it, exactly. unless it, I mean, like, that's, that's the thing. That's so. At first, I was trying to figure out which which bathroom to go into. Right. Well, one, says, uh, <laughs> one says pisser, one says shitter. So how did you? Wait, like, wait, wait, wait. Uh, so you walk up. How did you determine which door you chose? I just knew I had to take a piss. That's uh, that's the way I determined fair. it. I was so like, well, I, I have thinking, to pee, so I'm going to go in the pisser. I was like, pisser standing up, shitter sitting down. Yeah. See, and that's so I went what in. I thought. So uh, I actually had an encounter with a 
a woman in the bathroom, and that was interesting because yeah. I was so focused. I was getting ready, got my contacts in. I'm reading the etiquette rules that they have, which, by the way, is, is pretty cool that they have those. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Still yes. need to put that up kind or send it over oh, yeah, so we can post it. Yeah, we need to post that. Yeah, I still haven't done a photo dump either. I did. And then, like, I hear I a voice you like, oh, you're, you're with control, aren't you? I turn around, this is like, beautiful woman. And I'm like, uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> like, I, I out of my wits be like, yeah. Remember where I was at? It was yeah, a, after I got done using the restroom in there, I I didn't run into anybody until I was on my way out. But as I was getting ready to approach the door, it opened up and a female was coming yeah. in as and, I and was it, going out. It's like, oh, cool. I'm a safe person. So, like, yeah. you know, you're not used to that, where we're from and yeah. where I grew up, definitely. But once I got over that, it's like, okay, oh, it's whatever. It's we're, whatever. We're yeah. literally in a room that just happens to have a urinal and a toilet, but we're in a room just. Talking. Well, I will yeah. say, our. Our local gay bar also has co-ed yeah. bathrooms. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I haven't been there in a while, so uh, I know they've done a lot of remodeling. Not to like, s- sidetrack, but... Yeah, I, it's been yeah. a long time yeah. since I've been know. over there. Mm-hmm. But Leave it to the bass so player to know so how our gay yeah. bar is. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't but talked Raleigh, to Leo Raleigh was great. Um, the the, 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 the crowd was just we, amazing. The, the crowd bands in that general we play, played. The, the, remember the, the bands that we played with were... B- 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 it's b- been b- a couple of years. To be fair, spread loves. Actually, and yes. no, to be fair, it's been a couple weeks. He, he took away the competition. <laughs> he was trying to see if they would remember. Oh, oh well, sorry. I'm not going to remember. And, I remember uh, faces. I don't remember. Uh, yeah. I, I was going to say that uh, for that particular show, it was real nervous and nerve wracking coming in, not being able to use our stage box. Okay, so uh, in this particular venue in Raleigh, we had what was, a, you know, tantamount to about a 12-channel mixer, and everything was already kind of preset to specific, um, yeah. the, uh, specific things. Timeout. Kudos to you, because not only what, were we not using our stage box, but you were running sound on this. Yeah. Well, well, me and Steve both were. I can't yeah. really take 100% okay. right. on that. Because I, was, uh, I was preoccupied with parking. But no, that's, yeah. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's a whole other conversation like, we already you had. Were, so. You guys were parked like what? Like three and a half blocks? No, no. Around. It was like 15 blocks. Yeah, was, oh, my God. Yeah, yeah it was like 15 blocks, not away. Normal blocks yeah. Yeah. They, I will say I had an amazing uh, sale. Anyway, in there running the merch. He was talking about the yeah. He was talking about the uh, Because there, there was a woman that come up and sat on the little half bar so in front of the merch booth. One. Uh-huh. And she's wearing a face mask. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I reached onto our table and I picked up our, fa- our controller face mask and I put it on up to my face. And then I, like... You want to buy? Suggested, it. do you want to buy? Yeah. And I, I pointed at the board on what the price was, and she started getting out her wallet, ah! and I'm like, yes. So yeah, you, I, you were talking about the mixing situation. Yeah, the mixing situation was had me nervous, but honestly, like every band we played with that night, Spread Loves and the other, which I am horrible 11 with. Eleven to midnight. Yes. Eleven to midnight. Yes. They, they have a very <laughs> similar iconography as ours. I do remember that. Yes. And, and both of their Crystal singers. has her sticker in his wallet. It's yeah. Fate. No, I put it on my dresser. Both, so I don't oh, did you? It. Both of their Hold singers. Hold on, wait a minute. The, incredible voice. Wait a minute. I love you saying to 11 to midnight had like a setup. Uh, I am not a tall blonde. 11 to midnight. No. no wow, well, no, you weren't are, paying attention they're, to their they're logo. Icon- I, 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 know, I, was being, I was being sarcastic. You were not the iconography. I, unfortunately. <laughs> as much as you might want to be our iconography. No, it's Steve. Steve's the yeah. icon. Yeah. Well, I mean, he does crucify himself every show. Yeah. <laughs> so... I was just looking for the nails. <laughs> oh, no, I get rid of them every time. So not using a box, having a small mixer. Yes. This, it's a relatively short room in terms of stage to bar. Yeah. It's, yeah, yeah, it's a shallow wide. room. It's a long yeah. room, it's but wide. it's a shallow it's, room. There's a lot of... Uh, it reminded me of like a choir room when I was in high school. It really mm-hmm. did. There was a lot of concrete. There wasn't a lot of like... There's a lot of bounce Intentional in sound absorption. Yeah, there's a lot of bounce in that room. So... Um, the the way to set that that room up was to try like usually for a smaller like shotgun closet I would always try to make sure my mids I'm building out the little mountain as I like to call it like my lows kind of low my highs edge trimmed so that way I'm not trying to gain stage super high on the hots uh, on the high end. But the problem with that is you didn't have the control to do that. None of that. So, So, but (laughs) on the back end, that little Behringer, all right, I got to give like some love to a company right now because it did the, it did the trick. It did. It did. Oh no, it did the trick. I will say. Behringer. Yeah. 
So, so we ended up being the most complicated band for the mixing board, in, actually, in, though. Indeed, indeed. That night, well, right out of the gate, we have four vocals. Well, even beyond that, we're running all direct. Right. Everybody else was running cabs that night, which so makes you, it a lot so easier. You can bypass the board. Yeah. Well, I did loan out my amp head. Yes, you did to a bass player for Spread Loves. Yes. So yeah, an incredible band. You were, you, like one could say he was incredible. spreading love. He was. I was spreading the love. He's well, read both of those bands all over the super base. Super incredible! Mm-hmm. Like, what an honor to get to play with them. That was great. Very helpful. We talked about how they were all hands on deck, helping us load it. Oh yeah! yeah. The minute we oh, pulled yeah. up and they Very saw that we were there, the show. everybody was like, "Hey, can we help you?" I, I made <laughs> give me one something. Trip. I yeah. need something. I'm in the trailer trying to hand off stuff, and like the singer from Spread Loves was like, "I have empty hands. Give me something." <laughs> Which is good because I was focused on the fact that we were late. Yes. Yeah. Where in the f am I going to park? Right. Yep. Traffic is heavy, and we're already uh, a, a ways from the three o summer or whatever. Yeah. Oh, five seconds of summer. Sure. Yeah. The pop teeny pop band. Yes, the teeny pop band. They were they were that, right. the traffic. We're we're on a major artery. We were in, in the, the center of downtown Raleigh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was very awesome that they helped out. I like it was like a sandbag moment. Hand me something. Handed it off. Hand me something. Hand it yeah. off. Yeah. This is, this barely computer, had to like, move anything physically yourself other than your own like I, I, I moved my keyboard because I just didn't want anybody else messing with it. Well and in reality we could have actually moved a lot less than we did but we were rolling in like we were expecting a normal setup Yeah, and then we're like uh, <laughs> so we're just pushing gear piece after piece into the back stage and you're going, not using that. So they named not that, using that. That place was Ruby Deluxe, right? Yes. yes. Yeah, the Ruby Deluxe. Thank you so much. Yeah, so fun to play. Would love to play there again. Yes. And oh, absolutely. You, you and the fact that we found out that that is one of only a few one of venues two. that actually all are open to original yeah. locals. Yeah. yeah. The bartender was great. The the, the service was great. The the Even crowd the was awesome. The guy was awesome. Sitting and talking to him before we hopped on stage, he was just chill. And it, it created such a nice atmosphere of like, it, it felt... It felt so much easier to let go and actually like play what you like how you wanted to because you felt like you're surrounded by family and friends. I will say that I was impressed with the crowd we had given what was going on but also on top of it remember this was a sunday mm-hmm. that's right we were playing this labor on day, sunday. labor day weekend yeah it wasn't no just less. a sunday yeah right. but holiday weekend we were playing on a sunday in the middle of raleigh with tons of other things going on and we still had that reception i'm like imagine if we had a normal sunday right. in raleigh on a saturday or a friday or something like that yeah. we, we also offered uh, both those bands to come up i think one of them uh, reached out to our label. Yes, so Spread Loves. Reached out to Curtain Call and uh, has also already expressed interest. Now, I think if I remember, they were already like, well, we come up in January. We're like, whoa. Yeah, don't, for your safety, <laughs> yeah. come this <laughs> direction Let's during bring the winter. Spring, right. yeah. spring There's summertime. There's a thing called we'll snow yeah. that you guys don't get. It's yeah. not even the snow. It's the We get this thing called ice. <laughs> yes. it's, the, it's the ice that I'm... Like, they snow is fine, but like the ice. It's ice. It's All right, ice. so... From there, back, you'll get it. yes. Well, actually, like, let's continue. You have more to add? No. Okay. I didn't want to like railroad no. it all. No. Yet. Yeah. Well, I think we kind of stuck on this one because yep. it was a it was a really it was good show. show. <laughs> there was a, a lot, lot of, of highlights for me out of Raleigh. Yeah. So from there, though, I believe we hopped in the ride and went to Virginia Beach. Virginia yeah. Beach for down day and, one. Uh, uh, there. Okay. Well, so, I got to add one more thing, though. No, you don't. Yes, I do. That was the first stop to Sheets, though, was that night. This is true. It was the first time we were actually close enough to a Sheets to get gas and food was, was the after the Bucky's? Raleigh show. Is That that was no, the Bucky's no, as well. That was the next well. morning. That was the next, that was the next morning. Waffle oh, okay. House. Okay, yes, that's right. That's right. Yep. And that was happenstance. That was because, like, Steve's going... Can we? I'm yeah. like, hey, look, I'm there's like, a okay. He's literally making sure that this is the this is it because if we pass this one, Bucky, wait, yeah, no, that was on our way to Raleigh because that was the last one. Oh, was it on? Our yeah, way that was Raleigh? on our way because ah, that's go. one of the reasons a, we were running late. I knew, I knew it was a day. <laughs> yep, yep, good point. Good I point. knew it was a day before that we got into Virginia so, Beach to, to because I midnight and spread loves. Sorry. I hope you understand. That's we had to go why here. we were late. <laughs> we had to go Stop here. Bucky's. <laughs> I will just say Bucky's is the one-stop shop for any shopping crackhead. Let's just like, yeah, it's, it's, well, dude, you got your swimsuit there. Yeah, I did, I did too. You yeah. called out 
while we were driving through the parking lot, you called out pump number 208. I, no, no, I no, 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 we were at 224. Oh, was 224. It? I heard 224 you say 224. Was the and pump there was how many? Rack. It's about 250 total pumps. Yeah. yeah. It was like incredible. And this was a small Bucky's. Y'all need to fathom that. Like, there was uh, two pumps per row. So that means there's 125 rows of pumps. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. Uh, uh, needless to say, the beef jerky, the wall was incredible to look at. I did not buy a bunch of did, beef that jerky. That made the controller photo dump. Yes. Yeah. I did not and buy. And I did buy any. two bags. <laughs> I did not buy any. I was trying to be gone? somewhat. No, they're still upstairs. Yeah. Okay. But, uh, and also knowing that we were going to Virginia Beach just a oh. couple days, or the very next day after that. Yep. So, Virginia Beach, let's get to it. I have you never been... I'd like to go back to it. I, have, <laughs> <laughs> I would, too. I, I had never been in the Atlantic Ocean before that moment. And there was some trepidation because I'd been seeing on TV that people were getting some sort of disease from jumping in the Flesh ocean. Flesh-eating bacteria. Yeah. yeah, but I did some research, and that was like the, the concern was anybody that had open wounds yeah. going into the oceans. Well, I mean, I'm not saying that my mouth is in open So Steve wound. was in constant danger because he's a gas. Well, actually, they were saying <laughs> another big part uh, is uh, was people who were taking heartburn medication or mm. anything uh, like that, that that actually yeah, put there, you Yeah, there was a risk. lot of things, like a lot of situationals that you had to meet to worry about I that. would say that it was super fabulous. We spent a lot of time on the beach throughout the evening. Um, probably gave ourselves some level of heat exhaustion throughout mm-hmm. that day because mm-hmm. it was it was actually no, fairly hot. No, uh, <laughs> but I think that the heat I exhaustion. I stayed out till two a.m. though. So his whole then, thing was wasn't no until like a couple days later when we yeah. were in Akron. We're talking like three days later. Yeah. Yeah. So I think our actual heat exhaustion day was the back to back walking through the Mall of America and or uh, that the just, that was <laughs> mall. the so National so Mall, so mall the rather. Down and tour twenty twenty five. Mall of America. Crazy. Um, first of all, first of all, for those who don't know, um, I was actually born in Florida, so he's I've our been, Florida man. I am. I'm the crazy he is guy. Our Florida man. Um, so wait, when I was younger, all explanations. I, ben, we need to put his birthday in and say the I mean, birthday no, Florida actually, man. I could tell you what it says. Um, <laughs> I've done that, and it's actually pretty epic. Um, anyways, uh, but I was born in Florida, so I like every other weekend at the very least, I was going to the beach. So it was very nostalgic for me to be able to actually spend time in the water and i even when we left from the beach and obviously the hotel was right there i was pretty consistent in going back and forth because you know we were only there the day and it's really it was just nice good luck um, editing steve that's all yeah i, I know say. i don't care <laughs> i know you don't i don't care um but yeah as far as everything uh, that was great the um sea in washington dc was kind of a bit emotional for me so the the memorial for fallen warriors. Oh yeah, um, for the Vietnam Wall. Yeah. Well, before you get into the the heartfelt stuff, is yeah. there anything else from Virginia Beach? Oh, dude, it was just epic. It well, was just because, nice. Like to be on I know beach. the restaurant had gotten brought up and everything oh, like that. It just is what it is mm-hmm. as far as the yeah, restaurant. Know. It was okay food and I had it was a decent environment. I don't know, I, man. Those fish tacos were killer. I don't know, man. Yeah. The taco was. I had me. some pretty <laughs> awesome stuff from Virginia Beach because everybody. Okay, I made a major mistake. We went and picked up alcohol. And I didn't realize our cooler was literally full. So I went and... Of so course, we had to I, drink it all. I grabbed a 12-pack and then realized that legitimately I wouldn't be able to take any of it with me because no, you everything take all else of it. was packed full. No, like I looked. I was going yeah. to stuff stuff in there and I was like, "There's, it's not going to fit. There's literally no room. And we were still looking at stuff in the fridge, in the room, that was going with us because there that's was no because we were way. trying to keep the leftover food. That yeah, and that's probably. So I didn't end up getting sick. I was fine. So I didn't get sick. I mean, I, I, I drank a 12-pack as everybody passed out. But when it finally came to about 4 or 5 a.m., I, I realized I, I run out of cigarettes. There was a 7-Eleven only like two blocks away. Mom had a scolding Oh, my you. gosh. I got yelled at because I went out. But, it, you know, I got to say. Only because I bet- Mr. Som. You Blake don't have a phone and Brandy, that has GPS. Blake and Brandy were fabulous. Their people were great. I did not go to the party afterward. That's the we, thing that gets me is like it's five so in the morning. I was more worried about And they're like, hey, there's a party back. going exactly. on. I saw the party and they were jamming. Dude, there was a live DJ going. They had lights in the backyard. I'm like, this actually looks pretty dope. But I was, I was yeah, you're fine right now. 
needed to get home at that point. Well, back to the hotel and not get. That was out. my concern. Was like you just ran you did get admit lost. you got lost. I I I didn't get lost. I was down the street from. I I saw our hotel everywhere I went. So it wasn't like I was. Your lost. your exact words to us was I did get lost for a minute. And I had to have somebody to tell me which direction to go. I, well, <laughs> I got lost on the way to the Seven Eleven because I thought it was to the right of the hotel. And not to the left, so I That's went two GPS extra for. boxes. Uh, box. Man, my phone was dead anyway. It wouldn't have worked. <laughs> it's fine. True. And like back in the day, people didn't have GPS. They, they because trusted, they knew where they were going. They we trusted roamed, the star. Man. And we, we only went home. for a five they block radius of our house. Paper <laughs> houses, you know, paper maps. You know? I need MapQuest, baby. It didn't, it didn't he matter. walks three blocks and he unfolds this brochure. Like, <laughs> I tourists. did use... I did use GPS. I used the general populist speech method to find out. Oh where I was. wow! Wah, GPS. Wah. There wah, we go. Wah, wah. General populist speech method works a lot. Anyway, it was a good time. So and awesome! Thank you guys. We just heard how Blake full of BS Jeff is. That's great. Um. <laughs> <laughs> and here's the best part: he got back about. Forty minutes before the place directly across the street was wide open, mm-hmm. so he could. That was just also waited. selling his cigarettes. Mm-hmm. Well, I didn't want to go over to the bodegas, and it he looks, didn't want it to felt wait. Sketchy, obviously. Well, that's a bodega. <laughs> it felt sketchy. I the didn't... place that was blocks away past well, like, the house party was fine. Legitimately, <laughs> nobody looked like they were on anything, and nobody was zombie walking. Well, I don't trust that. To be fair, <laughs> to be fair, he made it back. I yeah. did, I did, and then um, the very next day is is when we went to the mall, and I'm gonna. Yeah. Let, I'm no, gonna, no, you're fine. Um, I just wanted to make sure all the Virginia Beach oh, oh, yeah. stuff got. I mean, it, it <laughs> was Virginia up. Beach was just great. I'm actually so gonna much let Bob fun. lead this because um, something crazy did happen. Like, so right when we got there. Right. Well, so obviously we we saw all the sites you could possibly want to see in D.C. Um, Lincoln Memorial, Thomas Jefferson Memorial. We saw um, all the highlights. Yeah, we saw yeah, all the highlights. All the uh, Washington highlights. Monument. Um, an an awesome liquor store. Big, yeah, all that. Uh, I, I, I think Steve you and I both spent too much money at that liquor store. Yeah. 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 Uh, Steve probably. intentionally. Yeah. 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 I went there uh, no one is going to. Yeah. Yeah. Steve <laughs> knew he was going to be dropping like... dollar bottle of bourbon back there? I would like to I would like that. Would you let me take it? It was three hundred dollars because the guy gave him a discount. I came close yeah. to spending what he spent. I but but he no. he also got a discount. Did you hear so, that? So did I. Oh did yeah you? yeah. I he he knocked fifteen yeah. percent off. Yeah, the Duke is not. We both got Duke 10. was I like it was giving a great I was Well, I felt so special either way. So My off. point was, Steve intentionally. Yeah, you, I went there with the plan like, that I was going to spend that money. <laughs> yeah, I didn't plan it and was like, ooh. Although that whiskey is fantastic. The green spot. Yeah, I told you. Um yeah, I've I've had a couple of glasses. It's very nice. What was the name of said uh, whiskey spot? Oh God, uh, Schneider's. 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 Yeah, Thank Schneider's. You, Schneider's for uh, pointing us in the right direction. Sponsor us. Give us bigger discounts. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't, Please sponsor us. I, 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 I don't think that'll like, happen. But you know, if anybody's like Harry Potter or like it's, there's a scene where they're going into the wand or shop. Yeah, or or like, it's exactly yeah. that. Ollivanders. It's just like boxes of boxes. It, Disarray, but organized. Like yeah. the dude knows where everything is. Yeah, exactly the same thing at this in this liquor store. And I almost feel bad calling it a liquor store. No, it's like. A, but that's all it was. It was it's all a boutique, liquor, boutique, boutique yeah, liquor yeah. store. Boutique alcohol. Yeah, Al- boutique, boutique alcohol store. store. There you go. It reminded me of like a like a Hyde Brothers bookstore. Well, but and here, here's of books, the thing: like it was alcohol. You, you, <laughs> you could, know. You could find your section. Like, I was in the oh, yeah. rum that's, area that's, yeah. looking that's at so rum, tough. and, like, behind me was tequila. And this like, hit no it sounds. Yeah, unless you go looking for uh, uh, a liqueur that's actually <laughs> tequila. <laughs> well, Do you I, happen I bought, to have... I bought two <laughs> bottles. One high I bought end booze. off of his suggestion. No, the other one, I was like, ooh, this one has dust on it. It's probably good. <laughs> <laughs> it's got dust on it. it. It's got dust on it. This is the good <laughs> stuff. <laughs> next, next time, part, next time I'm going... Back, hold on. He brought up, so I actually, <laughs> we're oh. in this boutique, oh, no. and I actually am like, randomly, do you guys have cold cock whiskey? And they're, everybody's scratching their head, because cold cock whiskey was like the monster energy drink of yeah. Yeah, it was a whiskeys. It, it was, All right, Kyle. Yeah, <laughs> it was a thirty-five percent, not technically you whiskey. Because I just, <laughs> no, no, there's your challenge. Okay. <laughs> uh, so anyway, I was actually cleaning my fridge a week ago, and I came across a flask in the back of it. I'm like, 
Could it be? Did you find it? No. It was not. <laughs> I was, dude, I was like, yay. So excited I had even just like a, a shot drop of like cold cock so left. Do they just not make that anymore? They don't because nope. of COVID. And it was still already a fledgling company. Oh. Wasn't it Nikki Six was one of the. It, it, it was, was, was Nikki Six, yeah, yeah, I believe. Um, All right, but but getting but yeah, back, Schneider's the the Harry Potter liquor store. So, but getting back to Bob yes. and the creepy moment. Thank you for listening to Actually Controller. If you liked what you heard, please consider following us on all our socials. You can easily find us on all the different platforms by going to Linktree slash Controller Thirty Three, or scan the QR code if you are watching the video version of this episode. Thank you.